Hello and welcome back to me playing SimCity! Last time we've uh, reached high tech, I believe, in uh, Toy Town. We have also Triton Valley here and a lot of things, and this log is all true, truth be told. I've been. yeah, thinking about some things. And that is that I suck. Pretty much. I quite suck at this game, or better, I sucked at it. I've been playing a bit of camera and I've learned a few things here and there which makes it more interesting for me certainly. And that is how to make better cities, better development, all that nonsense. Now we have already a university in this city. We also have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we also have, what do we have? Uh, yeah, a town hall. We certainly have a city hall more specifically with many upgrades like uh, we have uh, the education upgrade, we have the utilities upgrade, and I think also the safety upgrade. So that's already three upgrades, three very important upgrades. And you know what? We should start a new city. A whole new city. This city apparently has both rail as well as shipping connection. Now the squares as we see them here aren't really 100% accurate on what we really get in the city as far as I've seen. I think we should go with this one, the Conch Beach, simply because I feel like having some means of shipping would be a good way, a good opportunity for us to develop a more uh, commercial city. You can see that the iron ore, or better, ore, oil and coal here aren't really that m big. There's a lot of water, there's a bit of wind. We're gonna claim this and we're going to play this and see what happens out of it. Conch Beach. I don't know how I'm gonna call it yet, we'll call it some play sometime, whenever we get our town hall, I guess. We'll see, either way. Um, one moment, I need to say something. Alright. Okay, so Department of Education, Mutton Jobsville. True, true, we have a Department of Education in that city. I like this quite a bit. It's kind of a nice, has a kind of a nice, uh, fl well, look to it, I guess. So yeah, we'll start with this city. We we'll start with this new city and see what we can have, what can have out of it. Now, as you can see, the demand of both commercial and industrial in the region is quite big, simply because I believe Mutton Chopsville has a lot of inhabitants. Luckily enough, the commercial. Uh, demand is quite big, so we'll be able, hopefully, to get something, something commercial done in this city, basically. Yes, I am pretty much already putting some of uh, these areas on the avenue that I just built. It's just for the start of it, no worries, I, I think I know what I'm doing, more or less. However, now we need... Absolutely, energy and water. So we're gonna build a long road down here, because both energy plants, or better, power plants, as well as uh, water production facilities, have negative influence on the uh, land value. So we're gonna keep them far away, if at all possible. Now you, we saw that the wind is actually blowing uphill, where, uh, of course, uh, Mutton Chopsville, or better, Toy Town, sorry as well as the other city are, with industry. So we were gonna keep the industry those cities. Those cities were, are going to keep the industry nice and easy, as we will comfortably be upgrading a bit of this nonsense. Now, how am I gonna do this? I don't know yet. Uh, is this big enough? Yeah, this is big enough, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna actually upgrade this road already to low density, and we are going to make this whole residential because, uh, you know, we want some houses, and we're gonna actually accelerate to cheetah speed, otherwise we're gonna take forever here. Yes, I know, industrial, okay, sewage system, uh, that's something that actually pollutes the water, so we want to keep it away from our water production. We're going to put it about... I don't know if it's wise actually to put it close to the sea, actually. I'm gonna put it... Now, actually, if I put it down here, then the wind is going to blow it straight in the city. We do have to build it up here, actually. We're gonna build it here. 
Eventually, we are going also to build a better sewage treatment plant, which is actually going to produce water. So there's that. We're gonna have this one here. Let's see if it pollutes water in any negative way. Apparently not. Not yet, at least. There's not enough poop for it. Okay, get away from there. Unemployment crisis! Oh no! Let's all get desperate immediately. No worries, people. No worries. I've got it. I've got it. The coast color looks super silly, by the way. But I can't help it. We're gonna actually put some medium density roads down here. And here. And we're gonna make commercial. We want 20 commercial buildings for this city. Because we want to specialize in gambling. Gambling uh, is a bit of a hazard, you don't say. Because uh, at first it can cost you a lot without earning you any money. You want hotels in the city, you want uh, something that attracts people, like uh, monuments, or better... I, I don't know how to call them actually, let me check. Uh, whatever this is. Culture, culture buildings, like these ones. Of course we need a department of tourism in the city. Our city hall here is going to focus on the Department of Tourism as well as the Department of... Uh, I forgot. The other thing that helps, basically... No, don't do that. Ah, damn it. I'm still stopping with the controls, sorry about that. We're gonna put a nature park here. By the way, for those that are interested in trees, you can do it. You just have to press the magical arrow button. Or better, I don't know if... Uh, yeah. It's just the yeah arrow button. Press the arrow button, not the, the arrow button on your keyboard, okay? And we're gonna put a small park here, a small nature park. It's gonna destroy two buildings, but it is allowing medium wealth citizens to come into our city, which is good news. They're going to pay more, they're going to... Well, they will basically have more of a density inside their buildings, even if it's low density buildings. People will be able to live well, there will be able to have more people in a house, that's the point. Our uh, city hall is actually gonna be here. So we might as well do that. I think I should soon have it. Uh, yeah, I have it already. We're going to place it down here. I don't think I can center it with the avenue. No, it's just a bit offside. Okay, so now we can actually name our city and we're going to name it... Um... That's Toy Town. This is going to be... Uh, I don't know. What should it be? Uh, something with gambling. What's a gamble? What is a gamble? Bolville! Yeah. Without the exclamation mark. We can still change that. No problem. Everything's fine. So how many buildings... Of commercial nature we have. Bolville is okay, don't worry government man. G-man. Everything's fine. Yeah, the question is how many commercial buildings I have already because I want to be able to build the first casino. Or better, I'd, uh, I I need 20, of com 20 commercial buildings in order to build a casino. So let me check. City specialization, casino or gambling. We have right now 21, so we are officially ex we have a official access for the casino. The casino, of course, has a positive uh, influence on commercial buildings. I don't know if it has any negative influence on your citizens' buildings. Which is kind of good, if you ask me personally. Where are we going to place it? We're definitely going to place it close to the exit of the city. We want to keep it as close to the exit as possible, so that uh, they won't have the tourists won't have a long drive to it. Sadly, we probably don't have um, hotels yet. They eventually happen to come. We can't help it. It's gonna happen eventually. But I think we could uh, just now start earning money for it. But what we could actually do is go for a bond. Getting a bond. Can I pay this off? No, I can't still pay it off. Uh, we're gonna expand a bit our city. Uh, city's houses because we're not earning nearly enough money for paying off the bonds yet. But once we do earn enough money, we will be able to do it without feeling too guilty about it, right? 
Am I right? I'm not still sure how these uh, efficient lines work, truth be told. It's a bit confusing, but I keep it a bit of a space left simply because I feel like for building skyscrapers we're going to need those, that space. I'm going to put a nature park down here before any houses plop and people are going to be happy. We are good at this. Actually, Boldville is act a horrible name. We should call it something different. We should call it like... Uh, Uh, communicate telepathically with me right now, I need you. We should actually name it... Yes. Let's make an homage to one of my... Ca one of my favorite characters in gaming. Yes! Astora! Ah, uh, that's cheesy as hell. But you know what? Why the heck not? It's still Astora. Astora as in the city home to Solaire. Knights, Knight Solaire of Astora. Mr. Helping Hand of the game Dark Souls. If you haven't ever played Dark Souls well, you can if you on the PC if you want. But you really need to have access to it because if you don't have Windows uh, uh, games for Windows Live in your country, you cannot play that game. It's as simple as that. Well, you can on PS3 and Xbox 360, but chances are if you're watching this video, you have a PC. So there's that. Okay, so why aren't these houses actually upgrading? Uh, is there no demand for... There is actually demand for medium wealth. Why aren't you becoming sh richer? Become richer. Become more powerful. Become the man. Man of justice. Apparently these guys are complaining about no shoppers. We should actually build more houses. Fair enough. So this city is actually going to focus on working places more than anything else. So you know. There we go. So the other cities will actually be able to work more. Or better build more inhabitants so that we have lots of inhabitants in one city, that's the point. I'm babbling on and on and I don't know what I'm talking about, but point is that we really need medium wealth citizens here. Why is there no medium wealth citizen coming in? God, if I know. Well, let's go crazy, shall we? Let's build one of these. This is a bit awkward because it never happened to me that... Ah, there we go. New homes for sale and these are medium wealth. Let me actually check the land value map. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, okay, this park alone wasn't enough. With this one, however, it is enough. Okay, okay. Got it. I should actually then upgrade this park, huh? Yeah, let's make a pond on the end of it. Why not? Might as well. So this should cause even more medium wealth citizens to come in. And that's actually good because we want them to pay our money. Our money is currently low. Well, no problem. We can take a bond. A 15,000 bond. Uh, our per hour money is going to lower as long as we have to pay it off. But uh, as you can see... With the, the new medium wealth citizens coming inside the town, we are earning lots of more money. Lots of more money. So now with this fifty thousand, what we can do is build the casino. We're going to tell the lady of. Uh, oh, it's not a lady. Ah, last game it was a lady. I'm gonna tell this uh, cool guy to guide me. I guess. Why the heck not? We're going to build our casino just about over here. Focusing, of course, on the upgrades that we'll be able to put later on. Okay, so now it's hiring. Eventually it'll hire enough people. I won't pay attention to the need of industrial. I simply won't. I will deny its existence unless it's super needed. If it's gonna be needed, I'm going to place it someplace, like up here or something. But I'm not gonna place a lot. I'm, I want to focus on non-industrial things, okay? So that's the point. Arsonist from Titan, look, okay, I guess we'll have to build a full fire station then. How about we keep uh, some... Wait, let me check how can I upgrade this. Oh, I know what he wants, the one that gives the quest here. He wants a neon 
thing, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's what he wants. Earn 20,000 from the gambling house, add the sign to the gambling house. That's actually the easiest of them. I'm going to add the, this one, simply because it looks the best. And we're going to waste some parking slots, because I am ruthless like that. So right now we're not making a profit per day with this casino, but eventually we will. We need a police station to keep these guys in check. Oh, actually I can place a uh, police per, per pressing... I don't know how to say that. But yeah, we can place that too. We're going to keep the um, services in the middle here, between the houses and the other things. So let's plop up this guy, as well as a fire station before houses start to burn down. Like, over here. No! Not enough simoleons! Oh no! That's actually not good. Okay, time for another bond. Yes, we can do this. Yeah, we can. Boom! Okay. Yeah, one might think... God, you're stupid. Your finances are going to break. Don't worry, we'll upgrade the city like no one's business and we're gonna make our finances better. It's how it works. Trust me. We're actually gonna make a bit, a bit more commercial. There is a bit of high density uh, traffic on these roads. We'll have to solve that issue. Why not? I guess you want this to be longer, huh? Yes, I guess. He did want that. Okay, let's place more commercial here. And if I saw right, there is a lot of chaos on these roads, by the way. Um, we need to upgrade. Oh, good, we're losing money. No problem. We can still lend money from the neighboring cities like no one's business. Yeah, we should focus on building one of these guys. How much does it cost per hour? 200. We're earning 200 per hour, so it's not a problem. Eventually, as these buildings are getting built and populated, we're going to earn more money, so it's not really that much of a big problem, is it? So, yeah. Things are looking okay, even if my monies aren't the best. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Should actually place some roadage down here. Match it with this one, possibly. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice. If it looks nice, it works for it. If it looks nice, it works for me. There's an abandoned house because of the fire. No problem. We're going to eliminate it. Uh, B. There we go. Still complaining about the factories. It is also true that factories earn me a lot of money. But on the other hand, I really don't want to place factories in this city. I want it to focus on the sole purpose of uh, tourism. Not a single hotel for me to stay at. Guess I'll go home. Yep. You are bound to go home, mister. What do you want? Firework mission? Fire alarm? Okay, I guess I'll do that. There you go. Happy? At least they could pay me money for it, right? Nope, they don't want to. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. So far looking okay. I can't complain. How's the casino do? Oh, the casino is actually earning a lot of money! Who would have thought? That's actually very good. I've noticed that mining cities with uh, oil as well as coal and uh, ore earn much more than the casinos do, as far as I saw. You can earn as much as like 20 million per day just from ore and coal and oil. So yeah, I just got my paycheck time to go gamble it all away. Sure, sure, go for it. The more money I earn, the happier I am. Look at this! I haven't had such a quick earning from the casino in... never. Yeah, this is actually a good thing I did. My casino is a good thing. We should place actually some parks, or better, uh, improve this park here. In order to be getting uh, higher people, higher wealth people here. Which is something that I need. Let's do that. 
See the land value map? Land value also affects these guys, the uh, commercial buildings, of course. Uh, the better the land value is in their zone, then the better the commercial buildings get. So we should actually think about doing that as well, now that we are earning some solid cash. Let's go with this one. We're going to destroy this body here, sadly. We cannot help it. Sorry. But hopefully this is going... Uh, my voice cracked down for a moment. Hopefully this is going to improve... Yes, as you can see, this is already medium wealth. It can get as high as high wealth. If I just improve this little thing here. How, though, is the question? Can I do it without destroying anything? I could do it here. Problem is that then the high density buildings could not be built here because of this park. So it w might be clever, more clever, to just build it across the street, another park. Hopefully this is not going to go on the way with the... Uh... Wait, no, this one, yes. There. Hopefully this is not going to go on the way Triton Valley's shopper community to local shops. This is a store, this is not Triton Valley. But as you can see, they're already building and upgrading to maximum wealth. So that's good news for our finances. We're earning 3,400, Jesus Christ, I never had such, such good earnings so quickly in my life, so that's really good. I'm really glad I did this as I did. So it's sometimes better to actually build simultaneously three or four cities in a row. It's going to help each other, trust me. What is your problem? No shoppers! Close, still need workers, okay. We're going to populate the map more then. Now we have a decent earning, or better, not really a decent earning from this guy but rather from the from the casino alone we have a decent turning notice that i don't really keep it equally distant but that doesn't really mean a lot see ya it's just you know there for a purpose and there we go can i do this can i make this happen probably later on as i stand this road as in, right now. There we go. Sure, some buildings got away, but who cares about them? We're focusing on building as many tourist traps as possible in this city, so that's something good. What is with you? What do you want with me? Hey, Mayor! I think it's time we ditch the fire shack for something more impressive. Just think of it. Hazmat Squad, hook and ladder tracks, the newest bells and whistles. Let's get a large fire station and show this region we, how we fight fires! Uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna accept it. There's still time. But I won't be building it right now because, uh, truth be told, it costs a heck ton of things. Sure! With one of these I probably could cover up the entire uh, region. Easily. But we're going to do less, a bit, a little bit later. So far, I think we should be focusing on health right now, because we don't have any health buildings, healthcare buildings. In fact, could we actually go to the region view and see to request an ambulance from uh, here? Can I? I guess I can't. Oh, I have to volunteer them from there, actually, so no, I can't do it from here. What does my gambling specialist say? Make sure that there isn't a long way in mass transit. There isn't! It's just over here, you man. You silly man. 5,000 per day. Wow. In theory, yes, we should actually build mass transit for regional purposes, like uh, train connection and such things. What do you want? Pete Ryder, transportation chief here. I suppose with uh, the, that casino you'll want to bring tourists into Astora. A bus terminal can help with that. It'll send buses into Mutton Chopsville and bring back tourists. Sounds good? Absolutely good. And we're going to do it also, but not now. We are going to do it later. Do we actually have transportation? Uh... No, we don't. So that that's the only thing that I wanted also to upgrade in our uh, quaint little town hall. But for the time being, what we should be upgrading this roads and this road, absolutely. The more important roads, really. Sure, it's gonna cost a bit of money, but in the long run, it's going to be worth it. 
Now these houses can actually turn into medium density. It's not gonna happen, but it could. That's the point. So let's see, how is this? No shoppers, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. How are you doing? You're doing pretty much fine, 6,000 per day, wow. That is all in one day. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this right now. Thanks for watching, and join me next time as we will try to make even better earnings for the gambling house. Until next time, be well. Bye! This was the Gaming Show. Thanks for watching!